Hey everybody, it's TJ. I'm back with another video. Uh, for those of you who have been paying attention to my channel, you've noticed I've got this brand new Lifetime T-Town and I've been having some issues with it regarding the track accessory rail. I've got one of my, uh, this is called the track adapter, uh, different things fit into this. And every time I try to use it, I'm having issues. And what I'm relating it to is there's five screws in here and every time I try to go over one of those screws, you can see there, I'm getting stuck. takes a pretty good amount of effort to get this thing out. So if you'll come in, and you can see where these screw heads are starting to already go. You can see some wear in them. There you go from that angle. And you can kind of look at all of these are wearing. Come over here. Kind of zoom in all the way. You can see where all these are kind of getting some wear already on the top, and I've only had this thing about a week and a half. Uh, so, I'm tired of fooling around with it, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, these round headed uh, screws out and I'm going to replace them with some flat head or flush mount screws. And I'm a little bit OCD about making sure everything is nice and sealed. So I'm going to go a step above and instead of just replacing the screws, I'm actually going to go ahead and I've got some indoor outdoor uh, silica, uh, silicone sealant. And I'm going to put this on the screw threads and make sure that it stays nice and sealed below deck, that there's no water getting in below this. So I'm going to get to work and let's see how this goes. I'm gonna be right back. The screws I got for this, the heads are just a little bit too big for it. So I'm gonna go see I'm also number tens, uh, three quarter inch flat heads, and hopefully I've got some number eights or else I'm have to go around to Walmart or some real fast and grab some. But I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I made it back from the store. I've got some number eight by three quarter inch uh, flat head screws. 
So I already tested them out. They're going to fit really nice in the pre-cut hole, and I've already tested them out in the track. They're going to fit really nice. So I'll have Casey come in. So basically all I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of all-purpose silicone right here. Just a little bead on there. And like I said, this is something you probably don't have to do. I just want to be extra careful and make sure that this doesn't become a point for water to be able to get in. Clean my hands off real fast. No. Okay. Andrew will sleep now. And there you have it. It didn't take me very long to do that. Uh, I've got that nice and attached. I did it by hand. I didn't do it with a, a power drill. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't giving it too much. I'm not really sure. I don't do too much screwing stuff into plastic. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to go through and strip out those holes to the point where these screws weren't going to work anymore. But I've got them nice and tight. They ain't going to go anywhere. Uh, I'm, before I take it out, I'm going to give the silicone a chance to dry for 24 hours. But I feel pretty confident enough to go ahead and test it out with this. And as you can see, smooth as butter now. And the way this is supposed to work is you're supposed to just be able to slide it wherever you want to, get to where you want to, twist it up a little bit, tightens up, now it's in place. That way you can move your fishing rod holder, GoPro mount, there's a fish finder with a battery box attachment for this, there's cup holder attachments for this. There's a lot of different types of attachments for this type of track accessory system. So I'm so excited to get this thing running. It was just really, really annoying before. Like I said, that thing is just how it needs to be. If you'll come up and take a look at it, now that I've got it nice and screwed in, you can see the difference. And I'll show you the close-up of what the screw was and what I put in it. Kind of see how that head makes a little bit of a difference.
All right, so I'm going to put the other one in, and then I'll finish up for the rest of the day. Alright everybody, as you can tell, that didn't take me very long at all, uh, maybe a total, if I'd had everything here with me, it probably would have just took me about five minutes to do this total. So like I said, I used some number eight by three quarter inch screws to get down in the, that's about the biggest screw you're going to be able to get with the head size to get into that track adapter. Uh, and three quarters inch is just enough to get you just a little bit past uh, into the kayak and give you a little bit good, give you good, good bite in there. Uh, so I'm going to show you all. How everything's working now. Uh, this one needs to loosen up just a bit. So then as you can see, track it up and goes in. Tighten into place. And this is GoPro mount. So pretty happy with this. Uh, at this point, I think I'm, I'm basically done for the day. I'm gonna let that silicone set for about 24 hours. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try to take these back out, go catch some more fish in them. Appreciate everybody joining me, and if you like what I'm doing, give me a like on my videos, subscribe to my channel. It helps me know what type of content you guys want me to be out here doing. And until next time, tight lines.